Sitting here with uh, Matthew Knights, uh, I came down to record in his studio, County Line Studio, and uh, we're uh, happy to be here and talk a little bit to Matthew about the past, the future, where we are, where we've been, where we're going quickly. Uh, uh, I met you in uh, 1995, I think it was. Uh, we were introduced uh, by Rudy Colombo. And our old friend Rudy, yeah. yeah. and. Uh, he took me, I think you were playing at the Dog Gone, and here's this guy singing uh, um, Hank Williams music, and, uh, and, and and there was just something about you at the time that struck me, you know, uh, it's, I'm a fan, um, I, I, I'm caught up in the image and everything, and what I want to know is, when you were at that point in 95, and you were playing those Hank Williams songs at, at Dog Gone. I, I presume it was Dog Gone. It's yeah. been a long time. How did you get to there? And how is where you were then different now? Is, are they about expectations? Well, I got to about 95. A lot of my expectations are what I was thought I was going to do. Mm -hmm. I'd already destroyed all that. Yeah. Everybody told me I was done. By then, I was done. Mm -hmm. You know, my ex-manager is done. I'm done. And I thought I believe what everybody said about me. Yeah. So by the time I was 30, or so in there, when was that? yeah. So, you know, I said, "Well, it's done. I'm done. You never, you know, it's over for you. You know." Right. Because I, though I pissed a lot of people off and rubbed a lot of people wrong, but you know. If I'd done half of what everybody says I've done, I'd be in fucking jail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse me, I'd be in, let's take that again. I'd be in jail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. if, you know, I'm no saint, but you know. The patron center of rock and roll here. Patron center of rock and roll. Of of rock, and roll. rock and roll. Rock and roll, as Cooper says. But I learned a lot of stuff the hard way. I, ro I walked a long, hard road. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's over 30 years of kicking around yeah. to get to a place where I'm okay with everything. Right. Except myself and my defects of character mm -hmm. and try to amend them. I, you know, finally started listening to the people that said, learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. And it's now it's you know it's just a lot easier time where I'm at now. I'm yeah. still singing Hank Williams songs. I was singing them yeah. last night. Yeah. Black Mountain. Yeah. Loving it. People love them. It's sturdy music. I mean, it's hard to. For all these years, it's, it's been sturdy to, and it's held up. Yeah. And there was just, I think it's because uh, the authenticity of uh, Hank and which I see authenticity in you, and that's what drew me to you back in the day. But I've seen yeah. such a yeah. tremendous. Uh, uh, I guess you could say it's progress. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't change anything that you've been through to be, you know, different. No, you wouldn't it's just be where a you are hard now. way to get somewhere. I didn't have a lot of discipline. And like I said, I believed everything that people told me. That you're done, it's over. You're washed up, you mm -hmm. fucked up really bad. I hate to use that yep. word. You, I messed up really bad. And, and so you... You know, I had this really so extremely this, promising career and all this stuff. Yeah. And, then, you know... I just fucked it up. So yeah. what? You know, it's actually at this point I've actually got more real success than I had than I had this promise right. back then. And it's a lot more enjoyable. I get to work with my friends. I get to work with you. Yeah. You know, outside, Don McGraw's standing out there. We've been playing with him for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Kevin's out there just playing on your record. Yeah. Brandon Turner. Mm -hmm. You know, people that I can work with and get along with. And, and, relate to in a musical sense so mm -hmm. it's really cool i mean we get to do this stuff and i think we're actually now making you know it's m more relaxed and it's easier to do yeah what you're supposed to do right your thing mm -hmm. I don't know. that that has to be you know kind of brings me to my next thing uh, uh why after 30 years you know why did i drive almost 400 miles to be here today why are you still doing it after all that time and all the trouble that it's caused, you know, musicians the, of our ilk? The expense. You know? 
Yeah, the expense. Well, this, why why are we this building? That's know. always my question. Why are we doing? Why do we keep doing it? Well, there's no other reason to do it except for you feel like you have to. Yeah. If you you know, I've always been extremely turned off by self promotion, those types of things. I've always railed against those things. I've always tried to keep a part of it really close to me. Mm -hmm. And when I got down to my lowest point, and I did make some mistakes, I put it away because yeah. I didn't want to destroy it. Mm -hmm. And I hope that someday that I would gain my freedom, mm -hmm. which I was actually able to do. It took a long time to get uh, mental freedom. Yeah. I had to surrender a lot of things to what get. What does that mean to you, mental freedom? It means I'm happy, joyous, and free. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, it's man. not about it's not about yesterday anymore. It's yeah. about just doing what I can today. Yeah. You know, every day above ground's a good day. Yeah. Well, you're loved. I th thanks, man. I appreciate it. I think we'll end it there. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah. I love you, man. I love you too, man. I love you so much. <laughs> Let's make some music. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Let's do it.